All right, we're back. Hopefully I will bomb less in this episode. And unpause. Oh, and die. All right, now I'm angry. Oh, don't do that. Stop it. Don't. Oh, shoot. What was I supposed to do there? <laughs> and I'm dead again. Whoa! Oh, I dodged! Oh, I made it! Sorry about that, but it's all your fault. All right. All right. Pursuit of the mobile unit. I won't let you get away. Are you sure? Oh. Deftly done, Lightning Eyes Lulu. Deftly done. Alright. Oh no. Stop running away. Stop ducking. Okay, why are they standing up when I'm shooting right in front of them? Masterfully programmed enemy AI. Seriously. Oh, right before the life. I'm not trying to kid anybody. Yay! Oh, man. Flame machine. Missile launching machine. Yeah. Ooh, missile launcher. The gun upgrades in this game are not nearly as good as they were in the first one. Gun power-ups are a lot like my commentary. Not nearly as good as they were in the first one. Alright. Shoot! Shoot him! Yay! You lose. Uh, there aren't really that many either. There's... Flame still. There's Missile. You've seen both of those already if you watch the first one. And aside from that, there's only one other one. It's new. They, uh got rid of the heavy gun, and the Vulcan death grip gun, and, uh, the hyper gun, and they got rid of all the gun upgrades that were any good, essentially. And, uh, yeah. I don't know how this is exactly a sequel to Shock Troopers, since, uh, well, it's really not very similar at all. In Shock Troopers, you only had one life, and this one you start you out with three. Uh, the gun upgrades are essentially totally different. They work differently. You have vehicles in this one. The other one was set in, like, a Rambo-esque jungle sort of thing. This one's set in the middle of the city. That one had a lot of characters to choose from and had a cool little team battle thing where you could switch characters on the fly. This doesn't. This one only has half the characters. Uh... Yeah. 
That one had cutscenes, this one doesn't. Graphics look a little different. Uh, you rolled in the other one, you jump in this one. I died. You can upgrade your gun. Just a lot of differences. Don't even mention it. I don't know why they chose to have totally different characters. Really, you could have had a Jackal instead of, uh, Leon. Ice Brain Toy, I guess, could have been in there. Lulu really kind of reminds me of, uh, Marie B for some reason. Uh, but Ceramic Arms Angel definitely reminds me of Milky. I took down one train. Okay, something needs to happen. There we go. Oh, come on. That is so not fair. Told you, I'm not trying to kid anybody. I'm just trying to dodge multicolored balls. He certainly won't throw grenades at me. Oh no. Thought we weren't aware! We have been ready for you. Isn't that the same guy from before? What's he doing on a train now? Yikes! In case you were wondering, they also decided that this game with the bosses should just be utterly ridiculous at this point. No way could you fit this many guns on a train. Grenades are even essentially useless, they don't reach it, as you can see. Multicolored balls! Yet again, still my one weakness. Oh no. <laughs> Evil will never triumph! Not while I have a gun this cool. The thing I really like about this gun, though, is essentially you just don't have to aim. <laughs> um, when you get upgraded to this point, I mean, your shots, as you can see, my shots are taken up about half the, s the screen there. So yeah, it's sort of handy. What was I talking about before? I don't know. I'm like a baby. I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> uh, uh, last thing I can remember talking about was uh, differences between this and the original Shock Troopers. Uh, but I sort of exhausted that subject. But yeah, seriously, uh, if I wasn't, if I didn't see the little title screen there to tell me that this is, in fact, Shock Trooper's second squad, I wouldn't guess that it's the sequel. But that's just me. Oh, time's up. I'll be back in a bit. See you then.